increase in crime here in the Star City brings several local leaders together in an effort to stop the violence. This comes at a time when our country is seeing communities divided by killings in places like Dallas, Louisiana, and Minnesota. So we took a look at some of these statistics in Roanoke, and we found that in 2014, homicide numbers were uh, at a five-year low with three reported deaths. In 2015, that number nearly tripled. And then this year, we've already had, once again, five homicide cases. Let me ask those towns, Rob Manch just got back from the Stop Violence Community Discussion. So, Rob, what were the main issues that people were concerned about tonight? Well, it began as a community discussion about violence tonight, but ultimately came back to guns. Several families at the meeting tonight and even Roanoke's new police chief, Tim Jones, say they've lost people to gun violence right here in the Star City. The consensus is there needs to be fewer weapons on the streets of Roanoke and other cities around the country, but the question is how to do it. As an audience of hundreds watched, the faces of the dead and grieving rolled by. Yeah, I've lost friends. Um, due to the violence, um, I got involved when some friends of mine lost their son, who was also, he was my friend. Teresa Gill Walker was one of the hundreds in the audience of Paradise Cathedral in Roanoke Monday night, demanding change. It's got to end. Change has got to happen. And the only way change is going to happen is through the community and the government stepping up to the plate when it comes to guns and background checks and assault weapons. Roanoke Mayor Sherman Lee was one of those who agreed the government needs to change its laws on the type of guns people carry and who should have them. We had about four people that were shot several weeks ago, so it's a concern. One year after his daughter was shot to death, Andy Parker took the microphone as well to continue his fight for gun control. You can't get 90% of the American people to agree that Mother's Day is a good thing, but even 90% of Republicans think that that universal background checks make sense. While she says it's impossible to come to a perfect solution in one evening, Gil Walker says the show of solidarity from her community wanting to take action gives her hope. But you have to believe in change. You have to believe that you can make a difference. Every day, one person can touch another person, can touch another person, can touch another person to stop this ugly gun violence. Well, in addition to the event tonight, Williams Memorial Church in Roanoke will be hosting a gun safety and gun violence discussion tomorrow night as well. That begins at 6 p.m. In studio, Rob Manch, WSLS 10.